somebody needs to stand up. We've been doing it for 10 years. Back when I was in the legislature, I had a little piece of legislation that said, we're tired of all these unfunded mandates from the federal government. We're sick and tired of what they're trying to tell us to do. The state of Arizona is no longer going to take it. What we're going to do is, instead of paying your federal taxes to the federal government, we'll collect them at the state, take off the costs of illegal immigration and every other unfunded mandate, and we'll make it back. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough votes for that bill, so we need to send some more good folks down to the legislature. Now, I can guarantee you this is going to launch a lawsuit. The feds are going to come after us. That's exactly what we want. We have, right now, one of the best Tenth Amendment Supreme Courts in our nation's history. We have an opportunity, a slim one, before Obama gets to appoint any replacements, heaven forbid that we get in there and start standing up for our rights as a state. If the federal government isn't going to enforce our borders, the state of Arizona should do so. Yeah. We should not let them dictate. All powers are reserved to the states that are not specifically delineated. They have taken this interstate commerce clause and used it to expand beyond. We should sue on this health care thing. Don't pass go, don't collect on it, I'll sue. I can't think of a single thing that is more local than your health care, more personal than your health care. There is no way there's interstate commerce on that one. Ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing more important than our constitutional rights. Yes. There is nothing more important than the Tenth Amendment. When I am governor, the first thing I'm going to do is get a law passed to start intercepting the federal gas taxes that we collect in this state to send to the federal government because they are charging, costing us billions by not enforcing the immigration laws in this state. Yes. And, we are going to the gas and we are going to use those monies and enforce them in conjunction, incidentally, with all the other states in the southern tier of California, Texas, New Mexico, and we are going to create a, a public relations nightmare for the federal government across this country, showing the rest of the country what kind of bullies they are. The only way I know to treat a bully is to push back on them, and that's what I will do. I deal from strength with people, and I'm going to deal from strength with the federal government by having their money in my pocket. Number two, I'm going to, I'm going to use any opportunity I have once I read this $2,700 health bill to opt out of the health care plan on behalf of Arizona, and I think there's a good chance we can opt out. I am also going to sue, would sue right now, the federal government for the unconstitutional nature of this health care bill uh, because they have no right to make you buy any kind of health care or anything else in the world. If they can make any one of us buy anything, ladies and gentlemen, it is over. We have to stand up and fight, and this governor will fight. That's right. Okay? <laughs> Next thing I will do is, I'm done. Next thing I will do is finally be a governor who makes decisions on these so-called federal mandates and said, no, we can't afford these federal mandates. We're not doing it. You're bankrupting us. Somebody has to finally lead in this state, and I will lead. Thank you. which poll you look at, approximately Arizona, as far as being business friendly for uh, companies to either locate or enlarge their company here in Arizona, went from 16th place in the nation to between 37th and 40th place in the last three to four years. Uh, what would you do, Mr. Munger, to try to reverse that so we can become more a business friendly state and not necessarily always so dependent on the construction industry? Look, that's a great question. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm the only candidate with a written plan to do this. It's called on my website, johnmunger.com, the plan for prosperity. The first thing you do is you make the state a tax friendly state. You cut the corporate income tax. You completely eliminate the personal property tax on business equipment. That is the tax. Uh, Tom, as you know, that prohibits or disincentivizes manufacturers from moving here. We tax not only the real estate under any manufacturer, high-tech or low-tech, 
We tax not only their real estate, we tax their manufacturing equipment that they bring here to create jobs. And we don't just do it once, ladies and gentlemen, we do it every year. And we're one of only half the states in the country that would come here, that, that, that have that kind of tax. Why would we do that? And why would they come here? As governor, we will, we will lower the, the corporate income tax to no higher than 4.5%, and we will completely eliminate the personal property tax on income, on personal property tax on business equipment. And I know how to do it. The second thing we will do to make Arizona a, a small business capital of the country is we will reform regulations so that we end up with a one-stop shop. All regulations process from beginning to end with a one-stop shop, 30 days. Prescott Valley's doing it right now, folks. Prescott Valley's doing it right now. Five days, you're out. It can be done. The third thing that we will do is we're going to infuse a private stimulus, private money, not tax money, into this state 50 to 100 billion dollars to create, uh, to build out the infrastructure that we need in this state for highways, fast rail systems, uh, water desal plants, nuclear power plants, and create tens of thousands of jobs with that stimulus over a three to five period, three to five year period. Think what kind of stimulus 50 to 100 billion dollars will create and how many jobs that will create in this state. We can be the best, strongest state in the country, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Get your clock running. Uh, the 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 idea is is to bring business to Arizona. We need to we need to look at what other states are doing. Eighty percent of the jobs that were created in America last year were created in Texas. The businesses that are leaving in droves out of uh, California are going right across I-10, straight into Texas, never stopping here. So the, uh, the personal property, uh, business personal property tax, we are number four in the nation. So there's 46 states with a smaller tax than we have. That is, uh, as John said, that's onerous. We don't need it. We can do away with that and get people to come here. The, the uh, business income tax is, is terrible. We, in our region, we're the highest in the southwest. That's, that's why uh, people are going to Texas. If they're not going to Texas, they're going to Nevada. They would like this part of the country. They like the weather. They like the climate. But something that we have that uh, these other folks are behind on is we've got an education system. We've got three universities here. We've got a community college system here that is second to none. We have got uh, transportation infrastructure. We've got Sky Harbor. We've got interstate transportation highways, we've got rail, we've got the wide open spaces, we've got power. There's no good reason why, why we are not the entrepreneur capital of the world. When I'm governor, these things will happen. I will be personally the biggest, most, most active recruiter for business to come to Arizona. We'll go get them, sign the deal, and bring them here. Whatever we have to do, we're going to get them here, and everybody's going to be treated equally. Thank you.